what's up what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's Kayla Simone yes I got a haircut and I'm pretty sure you know what we're here to talk about if you follow me on any of my social media Facebook Instagram you would know well Instagram I kind of just posted it on my story but I've been in my hay like I have been gone I just listen <laughs> coronavirus plus work plus school plus work plus work plus school has me tired and like I was more tired than what um, I usually had been because I am pregnant <laughs> So, your girl is having a baby. Your girl is having a whole baby. A whole, like a whole, there's a whole nugget in here. So, um, I just wanted to keep you guys updated and I know this is gonna be a completely whole new journey in my life and I figured while I had the energy to record today, I'm gonna record. Like I got cute, I think I look cute. I'm going to record. I have chocolate by lip bar on my lips. I did a whole little foundation, a little concealer, a little, you know, blush, highlight, all that stuff, lashes, brows popping. Got my hair cut recently at the air, so I got a little bangs because I wanted to get my hair cut early in the pregnancy so that way um, once my hair start growing and my ends were terrible, that um, I would be good and my hair would be healthy in a healthier state because my ends, like I said, were terrible. So this is what I'm stuck with right now. I definitely look like I'm in the 80s and I'm cool with it. So keep your comments to yourself. Um, so yeah, I am 15 weeks pregnant and uh, today, actually 15 weeks today, um, I had my first ultrasound, well, first official dating ultrasound back um, last no it wasn't last it was last week last week and um i underestimated i thought that i was only like 11 or 12 weeks which is why i really hadn't said anything to this point because i really wanted to get through the first trimester and um it just so happens that i was at the time i got the ultrasound i was 13 weeks and five days so now that's cool because every friday i know i'm a new week so um i was 14 weeks last week and i am 15 weeks this week if that didn't make sense, listen, my brain sometimes just <laughs> turns into mush. <laughs> so, um, I'm super excited. I'm really blessed because this is something that I've always kind of seen happening for myself at some point in time. I just did. Excuse me. Look, if I burp, because I just, I always burp when I record, first of all but baby gives you all types of gases and indigestion and heartburn and stuff so i'm apologizing in advance but i can't apologize every time so this is the apology for the rest of whatever gas may come out of me throughout the rest of this video but um the situation was so unique because i literally 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 was going to an endocrinologist before I found out I was pregnant because I want to I know I want to have kids at some point in time and um in my mind like I always saw myself having a kid at like 27 which is funny because I'm 26 so by the time I deliver I will be 27 and um I don't I mean I'm gonna just be transparent because it was confusing to me <clears throat> I rarely have periods like literally literally my doctor was concerned because I was only having periods like maximum three times out of the year now remember women are supposed to have periods and flush themselves out once a month I was literally having a period <laughs> once a quarter actually no not even once a quarter less than that three to four times a year maybe um if I was lucky so she wanted to figure out kind of what was wrong so they did an mri on my brain um because there could have been something going on with my pituitary gland and they ruled that out but thank god there was no tumor on my brain and then um fast forward to my next endocrinologist appointment he was asking me you know he said my prolactin levels were really high and you know that was a sign that 
people will not leave me alone. Um, so my prolactin levels were high and that was normally when your prolactin levels are high it's because your breasts are preparing for breastfeeding. And I was like, that's so weird because I don't even think I can get pregnant. So that's crazy. And I had taken a pregnancy test um, probably a month or month and a half prior to that, which maybe it had been too soon, but it was negative. So I just assumed that I was not pregnant. Um, and then one day I had um, just some really bad pains and I was talking to my doctor and they was like, well, Honestly, I know you just met with your endocrinologist. I know we know it's not coronavirus, but maybe we should get you in here because you're starting. I was having some vomiting and I was like, listen, I don't get sick like that. So this throwing up stuff is not for you, girl. Like I need to figure out what's going on. And so when I went to the doctor, of course, they took a blood test and they said, well, to be safe, you're 26. Like we just want to see. And he called me and he said, yeah, you're you're pretty pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so that was very interesting um telling my family uh because i i really take my family like really really you know seriously we're very close-knit and i just had to first of all tell my baby's father my boyfriend i had to tell him and he's like super ecstatic about it and excited and we told his parents together and we also told my parents and um you know, honestly, the love and the support around this child already is just overwhelming. So, I'm excited. I'm glad that people know so I can stop, like, hiding why I'm sick and why I'm throwing up this day and why my mood is just completely off another day or why I just move so damn slow. <laughs> because I've been moving so slow. So, um yeah 15 weeks strong and the morning sickness has been real y'all i don't know what i'm having yet um everybody wants it to be a boy or is assuming that it's a boy because of my morning sickness i guess i'm not hip to all the myths and all that stuff with i'm not hip to it i don't know nothing about it i thought girls make you more sick i have no idea so um Everybody seems to want a boy or think that I'm having a boy, which would be really cool, but I'm not opposed to a little girl because you know we can play and makeup and stuff together, but um, I'm just super excited that um, so far everything has been healthy, everything has been good, so I'm excited about this journey, hoping I can take you guys with me, give you guys some, um, just a, a little bit of the real of what I've been going through, like it's nothing too structured nothing too crazy because right now i got mommy brain like i'm not gonna lie and i can use that as an excuse <laughs> i got mommy brain and it's hard to remember exactly what i want to do i probably should write it down but um you know out being pregnant is definitely different um i noticed i was very tired i can smell almost everything like everything I can smell everything. I can smell each ingredient that you put in your food. I can smell everything. Um, I was back on my vegetarian kick that has gone out the window because I have to eat whatever um, you know I either have access to or a baby wants. <laughs> and sometimes that's hard to figure out because one day I was like, okay, I'm just eating all vegetables and I threw them all up. So um, I just kind of have to eat what helps me, what settles my stomach, what keeps me okay. Um, thank God since last week the morning sickness has died down a lot. For whatever reason, every Monday I seem to get sick um, to the point where I throw up multiple times. But um, baby, like it's hard. Like brushing your teeth is a chore. Like. Of course you want to brush your tongue, number one, and if you're pregnant, you get it. You brush your tongue for sure because number one, it's a part of hygiene. But number two, you have this weird, bitter, nasty, like, taste in the back of your mouth. metallic -y, it's weird. It's like this taste that you can continuously have in the back of your mouth and it's disgusting. 
and so you want to every time you brush your teeth you like really want to brush your tongue but if you brush your tongue you gag and then when you gag sometimes that triggers the throwing up on the empty stomach so it's just ridiculous honestly um but it's also kind of cool to just know that you know I'm growing a human being and I am able to give life because for a second I was like lord I don't know what's going on with my body I don't know what I'm going to be able to do but I definitely definitely um believe in God's timing and I believe that you know I'm in this predicament that I am right now because I'm supposed to be um because trust me you know s s some of y'all out there y'all just ain't get caught but um you know everybody out here we grown and you know stuff happens and I wouldn't say you know I'm a virgin or anything obviously so um you know it could have easily happened with the wrong person or you know I could have been in the wrong predicament and I, I firmly feel like God is so divine and you know the relationship that I'm in now and um the support that he gives me like he's amazing he just literally thinks about me myself and the baby all the time and he's like babe I want this to happen and I don't want this to happen so the support is there um the love is there um so I just couldn't necessarily be in a better place to be honest so I just wanted to come to you guys and let you know why I've been going this is a real quick video it's nothing crazy oh, it's about 11 minutes um nothing crazy though um so I love you all and I hope to keep you updated um as I get further along in my pregnancy and I guess I'll give you like a I'm not really big yet, so it's just pudgy down here, but not really big, not big at all, just rounding basically, but if anything, my boobs are probably the thing that's growing the most and it's tiring, it's getting on my nerves, so um, yeah, super excited, I love y'all and I will talk to you all in the next video, peace.